Good morning. I came back so I could read you a story and sing you another song. This book is a really good book and it's called The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. Do you think it's gonna be scary? It's not really that scary. Ready? Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? What is he carrying? Is he carrying a ladder? I wonder where he's going. Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? Huh? <gasps> Look at him, he looks so proud. I think he's thinking, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? <gasps> Whoa, look at his face. I think he might be a little scared of the bear. Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. Uh oh, look at him. He's holding on really tight to that strawberry so nobody can take it from him. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. <gasps> oh no, now look at him. He's holding the strawberry and he's shaking because he's so scared. especially one that has just been picked. <gasps> Is he saying, oh no, I just picked it. I think he hopes the bear's not gonna come take it from him. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and sniff, sniff, sniff. Find that strawberry. Now what's he doing? He's running away with it. He's carrying it. He doesn't want that bear to take it. No matter where it is hidden. What did he do? Did he bury it with a spoon? See all the dirt? He's trying to hide it so nobody takes it. Or who is guarding it? Look, what does he have in his hand? A key? Do you know what the key goes to? A lock. Look, he put chains and a lock on the strawberry so nobody can get it from him. He's smart. Or how it is disguised. Oh my goodness, isn't that silly? What did he put on the strawberry? Silly glasses and nose and mustache? Because he thinks maybe the bear won't be able to tell it's a strawberry. Quick, there's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. Hmm. What do you think? How is he gonna save it? Cut it in two. Is he cutting it with a knife? Share half with me. Look, he's giving you some. Here you go. Have some strawberry. Well, he's a good sharer. And he's gonna eat this half. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. He's so happy. Did you eat your half? Now that's one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get.
the end. Is he laying down? Look, he's got the top to the strawberry on his head. And he's happy because it's in his tummy. Did you like that book? I also have a song that I was going to sing to you. Um, but this is a song that you have to sing with me. So whatever I say, you have to say it after me, okay? It's called The Princess Pat. And you have to do some hand movements, too. The Princess Pat, the Princess Pat, lived in a tree, lived in a tree. She sailed across, now you say it, she sailed across the seven seas. Now you say, the seven seas. She sailed across. Now you say, she sailed across the channel two, the channel two. And she took with her, and she took with her a rig a bamboo, a rig a bamboo, a rig a bamboo, a rig a bamboo. Now what is that? Now what is that? That something made, that something made by the princess pat, by the princess pat. It's red and gold, it's red and gold, and a purple too, and a purple too. That's why it's called, that's why it's called a rig a bamboo, a rig a bamboo. Now Captain Jack, now you say it, now Captain Jack had a mighty fine crew had a mighty fine crew he sailed across he sailed across the channel to the channel to but his ship sank you do it but his ship sank and so will you and so will you if you don't take if you don't take a rig a bamboo a rig a bamboo Yay, good job. I hope you like that song. And if you practice that song too, maybe we can sing it together next time. All right, next time I see you, have a good day. Bye-bye.